talking about some yummy good stuff today called a date shake. Now some of you guys may have already heard of a date shake, but we've got a little twist to it that I like to add personally. And we're going to talk about who it's good for, when it's good for, why you should have it, all these great things. But let's dive into the ingredients, that way if you want to make it, you can as well. We're going to start off with dates, hence the name date shake, right, as the main ingredient. And then almonds, and almonds you want them as raw and natural and organic. Then, my little twist to it that I like to add in there is a little ground cinnamon, then a little ground nutmeg, little ground cardamom, and the last one is a little bit of a ground clove. And we're going to talk about each of these and what they do. And then the other piece that you can do, and it's optional, we can either use water as the base or we can use milk as the base. And we'll talk about why and who should use which one. So first, let's dive in to start making it, and as we start pulling some of the ingredients, let's talk about what they mean in Ayurveda. So let's start off with our dates. These are organic dates, and I'm just seeing if they are pitted or not, and they are not pitted, my friends. So what that means is, bam, you got a seed. You got a pit. You got to take it out. You do not want to grind that up. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off. We're going to add it in. One. And we're going to add three in today. Why not, right? Sattva Rajasthamas, Brahma Vishnu, Maheshwar, morning, afternoon, night, all the three designations. <laughs> but I just like it sweet. So what do dates do? They are sweet. They are grounding. They are fibrous. They're fantastic for Pitta Dosha. They can be slightly hard to digest and heavy for Vata Dosha, but that's where the spices come in, so it's beautiful. Kapha loves any kind of sweetness, so it's beautiful, but it is a little heavier, so you could back off. You don't have to use three because it actually adds a lot of sweetness. Depending on how much sweetness you like, you can even start off with just like one or one and a half. See how sweet it is for you. Then for our almonds, let me show you. I've already got these. These are soaked almonds. You can soak them overnight or you can soak them for about a few hours beforehand. I like to just soak them overnight. It makes it really easy. And then literally, we're going to just peel them. And I have a few peeled, but I just to show you how easy it is to peel them. And then you have a peeled almond. And you can just eat these. Nice. And why do we peel these? Because of the tannins. There's tannins inside of the skin, which is very pitta inducing. So it means it's going to increase pitta. So we're going to get that part out. Now, how many almonds should we add? In this one, because we're making it just for about one person, about a cup or so, you can add like seven to eight almonds. And these are fantastic for you. Great builder. And I'm going to go ahead and get the rest that I've already peeled. I literally just peeled them a few moments ago. We already added three. We're going to go ahead and add just about four more in there. Okay. Now, water or milk? Who should do which one? So water is going to be easier to digest. It's lighter. So if you're kapha but you want a nice date shake, then water's the way to go. If you are pitta, milk might be the way to go because milk is, is considered sweet and cooling. So it's fantastic to bring the heat down in pitta. Sometimes pitta individuals may get hangry, right? Hungry and angry a little bit because that pitta just keeps going. You're like, I need food now. So the milk will help to like really satisfy that craving as well. And then for a vata dosha, depending on what you need, right? Milk is a little bit harder to digest, but if you need some of those nutrients from milk, then use that. Or if you want to use water, that's totally fine. Now you can use some nut milks as well. So all my vegan friends, you can do water or you can do nut, nut milks. Totally fine as well. You want to use about a cup or so. So let's just do it with our milk today because I like milk. And this is about a cup of milk. So we're going to pour this in. And milk is cooling, sweet. It's very nourishing, great for pitta dosha. So we're going to just pour all of this in there. And then I'm going to show you in just a second, we're going to blend it up. Now I'm just using a Vitamix. You can use any kind of blender, guys. It doesn't matter. And then also for your consistency, the amount of milk or water or nut milk that you end up using can vary based on the consistency. The thicker it is, right, it's going to be a little bit heavier to digest, but a little bit more grounding. So you may want that for a vata dosha or pitta person. But you may want it a little bit lighter, liquidier, easier to digest for the kapha. So let's go ahead and just give this a whirl one time. We're going to go ahead and just turn it on. 
And it is done. So let's take a look at this guy. Very nice, love it. Okay, let's put it out into our cup here. So when can you have this drink? So this is a fantastic drink to have in the mornings as your smoothie replacement, it is fantastic. You could have it if you needed like a, maybe a little bit lighter breakfast and not having like a big breakfast in the mornings. This is a great snack for those that may need that afternoon or mid-morning snack. Now, my trick, you could have it just like this if you wanted to, but my trick in this whole thing is add a pinch of the cinnamon. So what is all of this stuff doing? And the nutmeg and cardamom. Mm. Looks good, and it smells so good, guys. And a pinch of clove. Okay, so what is all this stuff doing, right? So these are all fantastic digestives. This is gonna make it easier to digest for the vata person, for the kapha person. Now, they are a little heating, right? So you wanna watch how much you put in there and see what taste that you enjoy. And look at this beautiful color with all the spices. Oh my God, it looks so good, guys. Cinnamon, specifically, is fantastic for vata dosha because it really helps with circulation. So those individuals, a lot of cold hands, cold feet, right? You're always just like, ah, my fingertips are always cold, my nose is cold, my feet are cold when you're sitting on the sofa and you're having to cover your feet up all the time. Cinnamon is great for circulation, so it's gonna really help. The rest of these also, fantastic digestives, guys. Warming, definitely, so watch how much you put in there. See how the body feels, but great nourishment, great satisfaction, and a natural sweetener in here also because of the dates. You saw there's no other sweeteners, and it's that easy to make. Within a few minutes, we've got it to go. You could make it, put it in your to-go cup, and take it to work if you needed to as well. So give it a try, see how the body responds. Remember, vata, pitta, or kapha and different modifications based on what it is that you need. I love this. Oh my God, it's perfect, I love it.